Welcome back, it's Zion from Yukon Demand, and this week we're teaching Deck the Halls. What you just heard were our easy and intermediate arrangements. In this video, we'll be teaching the first half of the easy version, but you can get the full tutorial for both versions and all the tabs at yukondemand.com. And so to play this part on the screen here, we'll be starting out in a G5. And that's just going to be your pinky on the 5th fret of A, middle finger on the 3rd fret of E, and your index finger on the 2nd fret of C. And you're going to strum that entire chord once. And after that, you're going to flatten these two fingers, your index finger and your middle finger, so that they're doing two little bars right there. But we're not going to strum them just yet. Instead, we're going to pick the third fret of A, and then unarc your, uh, or then arc your middle finger back up, so it reveals the second fret of A, which is being covered by your index finger's bar, just like that. And then for the next note, you can simply take your fingers off the fretboard and pick the open A. Then we're going to go into an E minor, which looks like this, but you're not actually going to need your index finger on the fretboard just yet. So for now, just put your middle finger on the third fret of E and your ring finger on the fourth fret of C. What you're going to do is you're just going to strum those top three strings for now, G, C, and E. Pick open A. Then put your index finger down on the 2nd fret of A, and 3rd fret E. From there, we're going to come down into a D7. And this will just be this index finger on the 2nd fret of G, and middle finger on the 2nd fret of E. Strum the entire chord once. Then add your right next to your middle finger, add your ring finger, pick the second fret of A. And then from here you can either slide your ring finger up to pick the third fret of A or just add your pinky. And then pick open A again. And then into a regular G chord, so that's just the second fret of C. 3rd fret E, 2nd fret A. Once you strum that, take your middle finger off the fretboard and pick that open A string. And it's important when you do that just to remove your middle finger, not your index or ring, because we're going to need those right now. So from here, just strum your top three strings. Should still be on open, second, and third. The next, just pivot down so it slides to the, your ring finger slides to the second fret of E. And then slide it back to where it was and strum one more time. So we've reached the end of this bar. Let's go back to the beginning and play it together very slowly. Starting at that G5 position. And going into the next bar, you'll be glad to find out that even though the lyrics are different, the melody stays exactly the same. So learning bar one, by learning bar one, you've already learned bar two. So this is what bar two would look like. Since you already know it, let's go ahead and play it through one time anyway. And that's the first half of Deck the Halls. To get the rest of the tutorial and the tutorial and tabs for the harder version, head over to ukeondemand.com and subscribe below so you don't miss our upcoming fingerstyle releases. We'll see you next time.